Hey guys, what's going on? Jake Ryan is Epic here, and I'm going to be doing the 1992 Survivor Series. I'm going to be talking about it. Now, this is my this is the second video that I've done. The my first video was longer because I wanted to address the concerns of one of my subscribers. Well, not necessarily concerns, but the comments of one of my subscribers. She was so kind to leave me some comments saying what I could do to improve the show but the video was like nine minutes long and when I tried to upload it my stupid my stupid hardware system kept projecting it so I just want you to know that Veronica thank you for your concerns um, I will try to implement them more in the future but I wanted to make sure that this video got on YouTube so uh, Thank you for your comments and your concerns. And let's get on to the 1992 Survivor Series. The first match was High Energy versus the Head Shrinkers. High Energy was the team of Coco Beware and Owen Hart. Now, the Head Shrinkers had this manager out there named Fa named Haiku or Haku or whatever it was, but he this guy was eating this like this Thanksgiving turkey, like, it was nobody's business. It was just in shambles, and, you know, he was just gnawing on the bones, and the commentary team was like, look at that, he's eating the whole chicken. <laughs> anyway, the Head Shrinkers won when they do with, an, with a dive off the top rope. The next match was Nails versus Big Boss Man in a knife stick match. Now, the story behind this was Nails was a prisoner, and Big Boss Man was his warden. Now, this match was pretty generic. There was a pretty generic no disqualification match. I don't want to say it's generic, but there was nothing really, really special about this match. Big Boss Man ended up winning when he utilized the knife stick more than more than nails. The next match was the model Rick Martel versus Tatanka. Tatanka ended up winning with a splash off the top and I have to say Tatanka is a very interesting character I mean he's kind of like a Native American ultimate warrior I guess you could say he runs to the ring he chants you know he's got everybody up and and anyway the next match it was probably one of my favorite one of my favorite matches of the night is Ric Flair and Razor Ramon versus Mr. Perfect and the Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, it was supposed to be Ric Flair and Razor Ramon versus the, versus the Macho Man Randy Savage and the Ultimate Warrior. But apparently the Ultimate Warrior was injured, I believe. We, I never got the full story on that, but um, anyway, this was supposed to be the face turn of Mr. Perfect. Because he's he, because in an interview he said that he was not going to be pushed around anymore by Bobby the Brain Heenan or Ric Flair, so he turned face. He turned his back on Bobby Heenan and Ric Flair and joined up with the Macho Man Randy Savage. It was a very decent match, but I think Mr. Perfect was in there less than, less than he should have been in because. If you're going to have a guy do a face turn, you need him to, you know, show that he's a face. Like, do face moves, like make saves, and try to knock Flair or Ramon off, off, the top, off the apron. Just do more face moves. But it was still a pretty good match nonetheless. Mr. Perfect and Randy Savage won via disqualification when Ric Flair used a steel chair on Mr. Perfect. The next match was definitely a squash match. It was Yokozuna versus Virgil. Yokozuna ended up winning with the bonsai drop. Now, Yokozuna, to put this in perspective, is a big dude. And when he's jumping off the middle rope onto Virgil, I don't he Virgil was not getting up. I'm sorry, but he just wasn't. The next match was a traditional Survivor Series match between Team Money versus Team Nasty. Team Money consisted of the Beverly Brothers and Money Incorporated versus Team Nasty consisting of the Natural Disasters and the Nasty Boys. Uh, Money Inc. consisted of Ted DiBiase and Erwin R. Scheister or IRS. And uh, 
and the natural disasters consisted of Earthquake and Typhoon, and the Nasty Boys consisted of Jimmy Skaggs and Brian Knobs. The win those Nasty Boys were the sole survivors of the match, and then it was a pretty generic Survivor Series match. Match. I've seen so many of these right now. They're unless there's like really something special to them, is pretty generic. But the next match was Undertaker versus Kamala in a coffin match. Now, Kamala was super afraid of the coffin. I mean, like, he didn't want to go anywhere near it. I'm sure he was like, I don't even want to mess with the Undertaker. I don't even want to be here. But, but he's being managed by Dr. Harvey Whippleman and this guy named the Great Kim Chi. They got him into this match, but he, he was probably like, I don't want to do this, but... They got him into it. Undertaker ended up winning when he pinned Kamala and rolled him into the casket and literally nailed the coffin shut with actual nails, I swear to God. And then the main event of the evening was Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels for the WWE Championship. This is not Montreal. This is, this is Survivor Series 1992 in Cleveland, Ohio. Bret Hart ended up winning with the Sharpshooter, which is kind of cruel irony when you think about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I enjoy making them. I'm sorry that I couldn't post my longer video addressing Veronica's Cougar's comments. I really wanted to, but that's life. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. L be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Please be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All the links are going to be in description. Thank you very much, guys. I'm out.